When solving a system of two equations and two variables, one of the special cases that can happen is coinciding lines. Coinciding lines are actually the same line. But we don't necessarily realize that because the equations are not in the same form when we start answering the question. What do coinciding lines look like when we are using the graphing method to solve the system? It is assumed that you know how to graph a straight line using a table of values. For the equation on the left, y equals 2x over 5 plus 2, I'm going to start by finding my intercepts. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. If y is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 5. And for the third point, if x is equal to 6, y is equal to 4.4. For the equation on the right, equation 2, if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. If y is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 5. And, and for a third point, if x is equal to 8, y is equal to 5.2. It is useful to use the intercepts as the first two points in our table of values for a number of reasons. Intercepts are easy to find because it is easy to substitute a zero into an equation. But here's another benefit. Because we are finding the intercepts first for both equations, we start seeing a pattern emerge early on that the same points are appearing in both tables of values. But we'll go ahead and graph them anyway. Graphing the equation on the left, I will put points at 0, 2, negative 5, 0, and 6, 4.4. 4. And then I will draw a line through these points. To graph equation 2, I will put points at 0, 2, negative 5, 0, and 8, 5.2. And then I will draw a line through those points. What I see happening is that the two lines are landing in the same place. This means that we have coinciding lines, so when asked for the type of lines, we write coinciding lines. Our solution set is an infinite number of solutions. We have to say this because it is the answer to our question. We have an infinite number of correct answers to this system because these two lines share all of their points in common. This is how we deal with coinciding lines when we are using the graphing method to solve a system of two equations and two variables.